Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick tip for all of you pilots that might be new to the hobby and are struggling with how to land your quadcopter without it doing this crazy dance. Now this is something that didn't used to be around in the very early days of the hobby and we have something called air mode to thank for this but you can set your quadcopter up so that it is much easier to land. This quadcopter that I'm using in this demonstration if you're interested is the new Armour Tan Tadpole HD. I'll put a link below if you want to go and have a look at a review of it. So let's connect this little Tadpole HD into the computer and let me go and show you where the settings in Betaflight are that you need to have a look at. Now before we click connect, this is all kind of covered in the Betaflight wiki. I'll put a link down below so if you want to have a look at this you can. But if we kind of zoom down here, this kind of explains what Air Mode does. It kind of reads a little bit like washing inst machine instructions that have been translated from Chinese. What it actually means is that the PID controller that is working very hard in the flight controller to keep everything stable is always turned on, even at zero throttle. Now, back in the early days, we didn't worry about stuff like that. We just uh, were happy it flew. As models got more competent, Betaflight was all about being able to do uh, funky stuff. So let's make sure it all moves. There we go. It's all good. And the air mode was all around making sure that when you're doing your flips and rolls and acrobatics, even if the thr throttle was at a zero position, if the quadcopter was briefly upside down, then you still got all the great control and support from things like Betaflight and iNav. Now you can find air mode and either enable it or disable it in two places. The first is in the configuration tab. If you go down here, you will have the option here to permanently enable air mode. If you turn this on, then you can't turn it off and you're always going to have that little bouncy dance when you come into land. And what pilots like myself do is if I have this permanently enabled, then I'm just used to kind of disabling the quadcopter a couple of inches off the ground and letting it fall to the ground rather than trying to bring it in to land uh, nice and gently. So that's the first place. So if you find that you have air mode turned on, you can turn it off. If you're not interested in having the help and support for the flips and rolls, if you're at the early stages of your multi rotor career, the other place you'll find it is in the modes tab. So the way that I have a lot of my quadcopters set up is that I like to have three modes. Uh, so angle and horizon. So auxiliary one is the mode channel that I'm using. So in the low position, it's angle, which is self level that limits the tilt and pitch. And that's the one that I recommend you start with when you're brand new to the hobby. Then the middle position is horizon, which is like angle mode when the sticks are near the middle position. As you push the sticks further away, it will allow you to flip and roll. And then the high position, which appears to have nothing set, is actually set for what we call kind of rate mode, which allows uh, full acrobatic flight. So those are the three flight modes. But you notice when air mode is only selected, uh, it's on auxiliary one as well, because you can have multiple things turned on by the same switch, but it's set so that air mode only comes on when I am either in horizon mode or I'm in rate mode, i.e. when I'm in standard angle mode and I'm not gonna be going upside down, I don't want air mode on. However, when I'm in horizon mode or rate mode, which is what you're in if no other mode is selected, then give me air mode as well because I want that help and support. The nice way of setting it up like this if you're a new pilot is it allows you to operate in this one first with angle mode without air mode help. That allows you to land that nice and smooth way. And it also potentially will mean that your uh, rotors won't start spinning as soon as you arm the quadcopter, which I know for some new pilots can be a bit intimidating. And then we have the option, as you get a little bit more advanced, to move into these other modes where you can try the odd flip and roll if you have the height. And again, you have the air mode help and support. So those are the two places. You either have it in the modes. If you can't find it in the modes, it's probably in the configuration tab. It is permanently enabled in here. And if you turn it off or you have it set up in the most tab like I've just shown, you will be able to land it without it bouncing all over the place. 
Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.